and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos aggro to kick off our stream today. Uh, we haven't been doing too much ranked here recently on the stream, so I'm kind of in the mood to play some ranked. So as you see over here on the left-hand side, we're going to play all of our decks in ranked today. Usually I do like rank up Sundays. Uh, we didn't this past Sunday. Um, so we're going to have like rank up Sunday on this Wednesday, Wednesday edition of rank up Sunday. Anyway, the other uh, really neat thing today, as you all know, it's September 4th. That means Rampaging Ferocidon is now legal in standard again here on arena um <laughs> that's pretty funny that that sentence that i said and then you see like on the right hand side it's like banned in standard well arena still does it traditional standard what arena calls it but it's actually standard i wish they would fix that i wish they would call traditional standard standard and they would call best of one something else like best of one or arena standard but anyway um yeah, this card is now legal again. So we're going to be playing this deck in, or this card in two different decks. We're playing in the Rakdos deck at first, and then also in Gruul uh, later on. Um, but yeah, this is the Rakdos deck that I've I've been enjoying. Where we just have, you know, we have our a few really good threats with like Knight of the Ebon Legion, Rotting Regisaur. You know, now we have Butcher and Ferocidon also. So we have like the the large black creatures to go with the good red removal with like with uh, burn spells, the shock and strike. And we also have our red card advantage, Light of the Stage, Experimental Frenzy. So this will be pretty interesting to try out. Um, all right, so we're going to be playing five matches with each deck over in rank. See how much we can rank up today. All right, traditional rank. Rakdos aggro. Let's play some Ferocidons. Never played a Ferocidon on Arena. What's up, Hawkeye? I've played a Ferocidon played against Ferocidon more than actually played it, but played it back on Magic Online back in the day. Played it in Limited a good amount. Never on Arena. It was banned before Arena went to open beta. What are you looking at, Hawkeye? What are you looking at? Was a pretty good looking hand. So I used to have gutter bones in this deck, and I didn't like the gutter bones. I thought it was the, the worst card in the deck. Um, and to now get to just replace gutter bones with Ferocidons. Uh, it does up the curve a little bit. I, so therefore, I took out the Judith that was in here. Um. Unfortunately, Diligent Excavator is pretty good against Dreadhorde Butcher. Wait, no. Was there a Knight of the Ebon Legion animation? What are you what are you doing? Is this the cord? Yeah. Okay, he's looking at the the cord to the keyboard. He's he's sitting right here. He's like, what's what's this core doing? Wow, that's a camera. What's going on back here? <laughs> okay. Oh no, you found my headphones. My guy just wants to play with cords today. No, stop. Stop. Ugh. Got to move those. All right, so we... We could die if I don't lead and zen this excavator. So 
So even though it's, it's kind of a bad turn, I'd much rather be playing these awesome three drops. The other bad thing about this turn is, of course, me. You'll thank me later. Here we go. these Teferis are really good against these three drops. Well. Hmm. I don't think I need to... I don't need to, I think I need to sacrifice Dreadhorde Butcher to kill Teferi when they have a backup Teferi in hand. Hey, Telstar. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, back to focusing on the game. They just shock in there. Whoa, what are these things? I guess it tells you two cards in hand, two in graveyard, forty-five in library. What's what's the two circle thing? Two mana available, maybe? See, I don't even know if, like... Like, they could just have Lazav turn into Teshar. Might be a bad now idea. for four mana. Oh, that's Exile? That would make sense. I am not going to sit this one out. I've got it. Uh, that's that's not good. This is not good not having removal in this matchup. In the combo matchup. That's how it was meant to happen. They're just going to be able to replay everything with Kethis. Let's slow this down. These three drops are just not, <laughs> not looking too good here. Elgato, thanks for that resub. Hey, once again. I definitely need... It's only a matter of time. Removal for Kethis. They have the backup Kethis. All right, this is over.
We were definitely not winning that game. So Cast Down is one of my big removal spells, but it's not so good here. It does get rid of the Diligent Excavator, but that's kind of about it. Legion's Ends are amazing. I want this Bedevil. I want the Angrath for sure. I won't really even mind Duresses. That may be too much. Let's see. If we get rid of the Cast Down... I mean, Noxious Grasp isn't bad either, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't kill everything, but it kills a good amount of stuff. All right, so... We're definitely cutting out one of the, one of these three drops. Um, Dreadhorde Butcher looked really bad against a deck full of one threes, and like to fairies to bounce it even if you get a counter on it. But even like like how's Firebrand getting through? It's not. But we need to cut we need to cut a three drop. Um, I'm not sure which one I'd, I'd want to cut, though. Maybe Rotting Regisaur. Maybe just kind of trim on, like, all of those. I didn't really look that interested in playing a Rotting Regisaur ever. Hey, Floof. All right, how does this look? Maybe I'd rather have Butcher than Firebrand. I'm going to play one Butcher. Just the one. Just basically to not... To have basically to have a two mana creature, not have five three mana creatures here. All right, already better. Definitely like having the Legion's End, but then of course the light of the stage. I wonder if light of the stage this turn's actually good. I kind of think no, because our deck is filled with so much removal that, like, we're just going to hit, you know, like, remo removal with light at the stage, and then my opponent just doesn't play a creature into it. I think I'm supposed to wait. Yeah, I think so, Joe. I'll, I mean, because it's it's basically just like the it's it's just like the Grixis control that I basically always play. The donation deck is, it's really not. It's just a couple of cards different from like the last time I played Grixis control. I don't know why I just played that Knight of the Ebon Legion. That was really bad because their their plan here is just Urza's Ruinous Blast. I I just realized that right as I was playing the card. That was a waste. Right as I was playing it, I, I didn't really look at their hand very much. And I, I knew about their hand afterwards, so that was really bad of me. Yeah, that was really bad. Oh, 
Oh, honestly, I should kill the Mox Amber. Nah. I mean, if I, if I can keep them from having legendary stuff. Dang. Well, I, I just drew the duress. I couldn't duress last turn. I didn't have it last turn before the blast. I should not have played that knight, though. But I, guess, I guess the knight would have died to this Vraska minus, but still. They would have minused instead of ticked up and done that. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty dead. I guess the day's your lucky day. But not, not completely. <sighs> I feel like I always, like, Unknown. one of my Excellent worst fight. games played of the day is always, I like, the first time. one. That's how I feel like it's always one of my worst ones of the day. No fire. No so unfortunately, Angrat's gonna die here because of Othakaya replay, replay it. But yeah, I should have I I should have waited a turn on the Knight of the Ebon Legion. I should have destroyed the Mox Amber, not the Fibblethip. Um, Hard a larboard. the other larboard, fool. Oh, they they don't have blue. Or no, they don't need blue. Hey, Seal. Yeah, Ferocidon's in the deck. All right, we're hoping to draw Frenzy. You know, we got our four Frenzies. That's our, that's like our best draw. We got tons of mana for Frenzy. No fire, no steel. All right, not land number eight. That's not what we need. Let's try this. <laughs> the game's not over. Not yet. Still get there with a, with a frenzy. This isn't a fight you can win. But that's where it has to start. We will meet again. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. To the library. As we win, nothing else matters. I'll protect you. Yeah, I know that that hot weather life living in Texas. Yep, no, I understand. For high and dry. Make another move. I 
I won't <clears throat> let you win. All right, not going to let them minus and bounce the frenzy. It's only banned in best of one still, Jin. It's, it's playable in a best of three. No, I am not making this. It says on arena that it's banned in standard, which on arena that means best of one, which is really confusing. That's how it is. Our time together is finished. show remorse I'll show restraint oh I've done the hero thing before hey flu fairs yeah yeah experimental frenzy you can do some crazy stuff with this card one card being able to be worth so many pretty amazing so we need uh, removal for Kethis and removal for Tamio and removal for Vraska or we just get a whole bunch more lands I think that's a lot of lands all right well played poorly lost it's a story of magic Let's reset. We are now, I think there's 22 lands in the deck. That was like all of them. Got the, the first game out of the way. We know what we're doing now. Here we go. Well, and there's one Angrath in the sideboard, Matthew. This deck has Light of the Stage, Experimental Frenzy, and cards like that that help you hit more land drops to get to five mana. Yeah, Light of the Stage really helps with uh, land drops. All right, looks like we got, we got Bant Scape Shift. Hoping to draw Ferocidon. Ferocidon would be really nice to have in this matchup. Would love to draw Ferocidon right about now. So why we got four of them in the deck. Ooh. I mean, I'm definitely attacking. Do I just play Rotting Regisaur? Or do I go light up the stage? Hmm. Probably Reggie. Yeah, it's just kind of always that way, Starman. I, a lot of times I play before, um, play before stream anyway. But yeah, I mean, we could do a warm-up game, but I don't, I don't know if it's that. Well, really good hand for our opponent, you know, turn four escape shift. See, I've, I've had three turns. So turn four escape shift. 
uh, while also playing Deputy of Detention as well. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Get all these duresses in here. Burn spells aren't like super valuable. Wonder if I want to cut Rotting Regisaur in this matchup. Them just being able to make two twos to be able to jump block it with me having Ferocid on. I think I want to cut Shock and Rotting Regisaur. Mm. I just, the problem is just kind of having like this many threes, but Dreadhorde Butcher against Deputy Detention against um, Teferi, not very good, but neither is Rotting Regisaur, honestly. So I guess that sound was my opponent hitting cement. Just split the difference. Well, the uh, question is how red is the meta right now? Well, this is the second match that I've played today since Ferocidon's been unbanned, and I've played against zero red. So scientifically, the, the metagame is 0% red. Margin of error, give or take, 100%. I'm not. I'm not playing Ferocidon and Mono White Angels. Yeah, if you want to count from my side, you can have it 50% red since I'm playing red. So there, wait, there's a new animation for Knight of the Ebon Legion? How have I played Knight of the Ebon Legion like four times and I've missed that there's an animation and just haven't even seen this animation yet? It must be really fast. It's a red sword. There's a black sword? Or I guess one or two, a red and black sword, I guess. Yeah, so it must be really subtle. Oh, it just happened whenever I pumped it? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when watching chant as well. Kind of expecting a chump block here. I'm not pumping Knight again. I'm going to cast Light Up.
Boom. All right, let's find stuff to do. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Alright, you know, looking for Blood Sun, Ferocidon, that kind of stuff. Probably not. Well, we'll see. Like, you know, we'll see what we get on top. But I may not be casting this Butcher. And who knows, maybe I, maybe I just burn both of these cards. They're not really that great. Or we only have... <clears throat> or we only have land, so... Got through an extra land, though. <laughs> it seems like we're playing 50 lands. Where's our Ferocidons? I think I have six of each mountains and swamps. Is that right? Seven of each? Seven of each. Come on. I have this widget. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I could, if you can get them just to be up all the time. Because that'd be, that'd be nice for y'all to just have that available. No, I, I, I may have more black spells overall than uh, red spells, but I know with light up the stage, certainly you want the red, the red mana for. But it's it's pretty even.
Yeah, I guess it's pretty even. I guess I have a little bit more red. But, you know, like, Knight of the Ebon Legion. You need, like, the... You want that swamp early. So that was six lands in a row. That was an unfortunate time to have Legion's End. That was a really unfortunate time to have Legion's End. Right after the Blood Sun, so we have to draw it. We may need to just pop Frenzy here this next turn, depending on what we get. Come on. So many lands. My 14th land. <sighs> yeah, so like, let's say I destroy Frenzy and then Legion's end these things. Then I have nothing. I have a lightning strike. I think we th we've seen three spells with Frenzy. Right, we saw Blood Sun, Firebrand, and Lightning Strike. With having Frenzy out for a lot of turns. <laughs> they, they don't have Blast Zone for Blood Sun. Blood Sun shuts down Blast Zone. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, so I can go Regisaur, Regisaur, but then if they have a removal spell, I lose. Or now I could pop. I think I'm going to pop Frenzy now and just play it safer. And go pop Frenzy, Legion's End. Because any if I don't, any removal spell kills me. But at least I, I now have things to do. With being able to go double Regisaur. Yeah, I already played a land. Um, you know, next turn I'll double Regisaur. I have Blood Sun to draw me another card. I guess I should only do single Regisaur. I can't play the other Regisaur. Gotta hold up Lightning Strike because if they if they draw Deputy. Otherwise, they could go Deputy Escape Shift. So holding up Lightning Strike.
Okay. No, I haven't played any Brawl. Um... I kind of don't really want Firebrand. I'll just go three and three. I'll just trim one for another Butcher. Yeah, so, yeah, they would have had, they would have deputied the, the Blood Suns and then cast Cape Shift if I don't hold up Strike. Hey, Lou. So as far as experimental frenzy goes, I want it, I want a lot of uh, dual lands. This definitely feels like twenty two is too many lands in this deck. <laughs> but the minute that we, the minute we go down to twenty one lands, then we just won't hit any land drops. I'll know that that's how that works. <laughs> yep, keep two lands, never draw lands, keep five, the top two are lands. We got four. Right, Legion's End's a good draw. Even if we play Experimental Frenzy, we can kind of have it as the safety valve like we did the last game. I know, right? I just want to draw for Ocidon. <laughs> just want to play for Ocidon. I wonder what they got going on over here. The Space Jam theme song? I don't... I don't know very much about the Space Jam theme song. Um, if I play Duress, I have to discard Legion's End. If I... If I play Frenzy, I have to discard Duress. I think I'm supposed to play Frenzy, though. Opponent's likely just getting green mana. Oh no, never mind. Oh, they're gonna field the ruin and get green mana. But could see like time wipe. All right, good job, Frostadon. Yeah, I guess my opponent just kept a hand of um, Baffling End and Pray for stuff, but they didn't. No, I I don't know much about... I haven't... I never saw the first Space Jam or... Anything. Alright, I saved it, Matthew. I'll listen to it later. Um... 
Yeah, no, they're coming out with a second one, right? With with LeBron and Anthony Davis. And like Clay Thompson's in it. That's a pretty epic picture here with like that volcano in the background and everything. I feel the same way about Space, Pan Space Jam 2 as everyone feels about the Michael Bay Transformers. I'm not sure how everybody feels about the Michael Bay Transformers. How does everybody feel about the Michael Bay Transformers? Yeah, the yeah, the is it three mana planeswalker is really good looking. So much loyalty. Six loyalty for the three mana planeswalker. That card looks really good. I think that that uh is it planeswalker. First thing I was thinking of was uh Grixis. You know, because it gives the plus, the other plus gives first strike and death touch, and so first strike and death touch to Knight of the Ebon Legion, it or no first strike and trample. Sorry, first strike and trample because Knight has death touch, but first strike and trample to Knight of the Ebon Legion is pretty busted. And then also, and also, um, you know, give give Dreadhorde Butcher first strike trample, and and then our Rotting Regisaur that seven six give it make it a nine. A 9-6 first strike trample. That's ridiculous. So yeah, like Grixis with all those things. That card looks pretty good. We will not fail. Hmm. Nisa. Yeah, they can they can make a blocker. Ferocidon is menacing. Do I want to like double shock their three three here and then attack them for six? Do I want to just let them block butcher and just do the shocks upstairs? So let's see, they block Butcher, they take six, go to seven. Yeah, I just want to do that. Then we can like light up. So they're at seven. Crisis doesn't gain life. Crisis just loses life. We have these shocks. Oh dang! I missed the animation. No. It's this animation must be so fast. It must be like half a second. It's right above the card, so it's like right here. Ferocidon was dant was banned because Mono Red was too good at the time and they didn't want to ban the expensive mythics. Expensive as in price wise that people paid for and spent spent a lot of money on and so they they banned a a rare that was a good card in the deck. Uh 
All right, so they're gonna block. We're gonna see the. All right, I'm gonna. I'm looking for this animation now. All right, well, it was over here. I saw that animation really quick. There was like really. There was like a little a sword going like through the whole card. I'm watching the clip. Okay, so yeah, it's that sword above the card. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's a cool looking sword. They could have had that like a half second longer. Whoa. Everything's in like really good high definition. That probably means that my graphics are too good. Yeah, let's go back down to 1080. All right, that's better. Uh, what are they doing? They're playing like some some kind of Bant deck. Hey, Dessel, getting that gifted sub. Thanks, Santa After Wizard. All right, so how am I sideboarding against a a random Bant deck? Um, Dreadhorde Butcher not as good on the draw. Noxious Grass probably great. Do we just want, do I just want to do that? Just put in two Noxious Grasps? Uh, probably would rather have Cast Down than Legion's End. Mm, but Devil's kind of expensive. I'm going to keep it like this. We'll see what more they're doing over here. Yeah, Legion's End is better than Cast Down against Krasis, but Cast Down can help us against, like, Cavalier of Thorn, where Legion's End doesn't. Has anybody tried for Ferocidon for... Tybalt yet? Yeah, Ferocidon is now legal and standard. Look at that red sword. I saw it. Ah, uh, the second one didn't have the animation. I was also kind of like looking at, like kind of glancing at the card, but yeah, it's, a, the, it's the animation's above it. Yeah, so I finally noticed the animation now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I played a cavalcade, a, a uh, rotation-proof cavalcade of calamity deck. Also, which cannot protect um, you know, it's it's up on the YouTube channel for the rotate in, in the rotation-proof playlist. But it was it was really impressive for a rotation-proof deck.
grenades. We gained a life, but you can't gain life. We should probably take Noxious Grasp out of the deck. Just a non-bow with Ferocidon. Ferocidon won't let us gain the life anymore. Don't need Noxious Grasp. We should cut it. Hmm. This is a pretty good one drop. Imagine this thing having first strike and trample. Just first strike, death touch, trample. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. First strike, death touch, and trample means completely unblockable. Okay. Is this the best play against negate? Is it better just to attack with both. We'll force them to have negate, I guess. But it it's kind of likely they have negate. I feel like they were thinking about negating. Nope, never mind, they're dead. I was gonna say, whenever we lightning strike to their 3 3, it kind of felt like they were thinking about negating. Oh, yeah, maybe they had the Veil of Summer. That could be a thing. <clears throat> That's probably what they had. They probably had Veil of Summer. Like, where I lightning striked their 3-3, three, three, and they couldn't Veil of Summer it, and they didn't cast their Veil, and then I Noxious... But then they didn't have any mana, and then I Noxious Grasp Nissa. What's up, Link? Yeah, I think they had Veil, too. Alright, so after our first match, where I played a little sloppy, um... Picked it up. Deck's looking better. Azorius Guildgate. This looks like another band deck. Probably Scape Shift. Yep. The big question is if I should play Reggie next turn or not. I can no longer stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a um, plan. Ask Emulation's pretty slow. I'm not a huge fan of it. Only time will tell. Um, and then, uh, I don't remember which one I played, Initiate or Footlight Fiend. I might have had both, honestly.
All right, get all those, get all those, get all these, get all these. Kind of want the Noxious Grasps. Two. Wait, no, not you, you stay. All right, so we're gonna trim two Rotting Regisaur. Get rid of shock. All right, this looks pretty good. Hey Rex, thanks. Yeah, this is a pretty good deck list. I played pretty sloppy in our loss. Ugh, first match of the day. But I like a lot of what we have going on here. Mono red. We just played, you know, like Knight of the Ebon Legion, Rotting Regisaur, like that curve. You know, Legion, Dread Horde Butcher, Rotting Regisaur, they conceded. And then we go transformational sideboard into Mono Red. Opponent will never see it coming. They're probably going to have, like, I don't know, Veil of Summers against my Mono Red deck. Hasidon is back. I guess I'll change my title to that Ferocidon is back instead of Ferocidon is free. I meant like Sorry I'm late. I guess I should have said free to with a with a D. Here we go. So, I mean, Firebrand, you know, kills this Teferi, but it just doesn't use uses my mana so poorly. Let's play Ferocidon. But, of course, if they get rid of Ferocidon, then Firebrand doesn't kill Teferi this next turn. Idea. Oh, they're a Risen Reef deck? I really should have seen that coming. They play another elemental, we'll kill the Risen Reef, of course. I don't like this really quick animation. I wonder why they only did two instead of three. They don't have a bounce spell, do they? It's got to be Veil of Summer against my mono red deck.
Take two. Nice one, one. Man, Frosted on is sweet. Oh, really? Y'all are hearing, like, the timer still going? I'm not hearing that at all. But my sound is pretty low. I, I'm not hearing it over the music. So I'm kind of... I'm expecting a double block... I guess I just kind of let it happen. Whoa. I mean, I'd like to save my creature with the Noxious Grass, but I think that they have Veil of Summer. I don't really want them getting the value out of Veil of Summer. Value of like draw, you know, being able to cycle. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Plus, they may have like deputy detention or like that thing that's more important to kill. I'm glad we held on to it. Yep, put that back. Oh, I don't gain that life. I forgot. Noxious grasp. Completely useless now because we don't gain a life because of Ferocidon. Forgot we need to cut that card. We were just milling it over. Yeah, this is pretty great having Ferocidon and Blood Sun just shut off of their deck. This is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need Brass's Contempt instead of these Noxious Grasps. This deck's pretty good. This deck's pretty good. Close up of the tie. Ugh. See how close you get. It's, uh, it's like blue, bluish purple, pretty shiny. Nice looking tie. Yeah, I do the um, full wins or not. That's the, the tie knot that I like to do. That I always use. It's my favorite. I wouldn't mind drawing Basic Mountain here for the first draw step. Thank you. I don't mind that draw step, I guess, I should say. And now Nexus. Frostodon not as important against Nexus. We're playing Reggie here. I 
Nice, Dessel. Hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, my favorite tie. I have a a purple argyle patterned tie. Uh, that's my favorite. Um, it's like the right weight and everything. I can tie it really nice each time I wear it. It's my favorite tie. I kind of feel like we don't need frenzy. We don't really need the Dreadhorde Butcher, I guess. Because like if we're dealing combat damage, I guess the Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't matter. Because <laughs> if we're if we're hitting our opponent, they're dead. Okay, well they're dead. Yeah, I could lightning strike my butcher for lethal. I could just also just lightning strike them. But you never know, like random counter spell, and wait for them to tap out. No, I've never done bow tie stuff. I'm not I'm not a big fan of bow ties. Just how they look. I like well, just compared to regular ties, that is. Alright, GG. Um, probably the, mostly the first one, Krubbish. Alright, gonna bring in all these duresses. I don't mind a Blood Sun or two. Maybe even all the Blood Suns, honestly. They rely on their mana base so much. And we need Noxious Grasp and Bedevils. Cast down Legion's End out of here. Um, get Rotting Register back in here. Ferocidon can go. They're not really gaining life, so it's just like a three mana, three power creature. But I'm bringing another three drops. Because, yeah, between Blast Zone, Memorial to Genius, Azkanta, the Sunken Ruin. So shock and strike aren't great, you know, it's just like two damage for a shock. Let's take let's take those out. And then a strike. When we we saw like the, the strike finish them off, but hopefully with the disruption with like Blood Sun Duress, we're good there. We could that's the other thing we could do is we could just cut frenzies and keep strike and shocks and keep and cut frenzies. Um, maybe I'll keep this strike and get rid of one frenzy. We'll do that. I don't know. I still just like frenzy. Ferocidon's been pretty good so far. you got <laughs> need to take Tamio for the other one we can do that this next turn
<laughs> Riding Registaur is just so big. You know, they just, Registaur just hits once. It's like game. So Nexus of Fate is just a random draw step. I guess I guess it's more than that because of Memorial. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. That's a whiff. There we go. Man, just a really fast clock. With like the disruption with duress and everything. Honestly, this deck's really good. This is a good deck. So let's, all right, let's talk about our deck here. Um, okay. So yeah, I really like what we have going on here. You know, we were four and one, and a lot of the matches felt like, you know, like, like, like we weren't really that close to losing, you know, our matches. I, I did lose the very first one to the, uh, the Kathis deck. I didn't play it very well. I, I made some mistakes. Um, you know, first first match of the day, made some mistakes. I don't know if I sideboarded that well in that matchup. I don't really remember. Um, but it didn't feel like that was, like, that bad of a matchup. You know, I, I feel like I didn't draw particularly well. I didn't play particularly well. And, you know, we lost. But then after that, tightened up and just kind of steamrolled through everybody else. Um yeah, honestly, this deck felt felt really good. It's just it's a, you get a really fast clock, like kind of like Mono Red, uh, the fast clock, but it's kind of harder to deal with. You know, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Rotting Regisaur, are really difficult creatures to block, um, and then you still get the card advantage with Frenzy Light at the stage. You get a better sideboard than like what Mono Red has. Like Duress is awesome right now. Like all those ma like we you know we played a bunch of matchups where just having Duress is just really good, um, and then a, you know obviously Blood Sun really good but yeah legion's end is great this deck is really good and then ferocidon was good for us you know like against the bant deck they kind of had nothing you know they couldn't you know like they're trying to play crisis and it's just like we'll take another damage couldn't play creatures um like there was that turn like they untap with nissa and they didn't even play a creature because if they'd play a creature they would die <laughs> kind of thing so they couldn't even play creatures so yeah ferocidon was awesome so we got our, our Rakdos dinosaurs here. Yeah, honestly, this, this felt like a really good deck for uh, for ranking up and everything. Um, yeah, recommend it. Checking it out if you want to play some aggro. This looks like a good one. If you're watching it later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but thanks so much for watching some Rakdos aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.